Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if you enjoy the weather yesterday, we get even warmer today. We'll put up our expected high temperature future cast in just a second. First, let's take a look at what's going on here with our dew points. You know, I was hoping to put away this graphic for the year, but we still need it for this week. And that's because dew points running in the mid to upper 60s. That is borderline sticky to very muggy. And that continues all the way through Wednesday. After Wednesday, a cold front moves through. So Thursday is kind of our transition day. And then Friday and Saturday, dew points down into the 50s and 40s. That's will feel a lot more like fall when we have dew points in the 40s and 50s. That is in the refreshing category. So if you've been needing to run that AC over the past couple days, finally getting a break from that as we head towards the end of the week. What a gorgeous sunrise, right? Capital City showing uh, orange skies. Temperatures right now running in the 60s. The reason we do have a risk of those rip currents for the next several days is because we still have some energy left over from Jose, but you can see that continues to fade away. But we also have Hurricane Maria, and we are getting some swells, which should arrive at our coast by late today, if not by late today, into tomorrow. So remember, these storms don't have to be all that close to propagate some of that wave energy to our shores. It's not going to be the really big waves like we saw with Jose, but the chance of those rip currents will be there and that will actually exist that risk all up and down the east coast of the United States. In terms of our waves, well, you can see not nearly as high as we saw with Jose. These seven footers are much smaller than that 17 foot number I saw from Jose a few days ago. So that kind of puts things into perspective. But just keep in mind, even when you don't see huge waves out there, the risk of those rip currents can still be there. In fact, sometimes that can be a little more dangerous because you don't expect it to be there when you have waves which are not quite as big. In Newport right now, beautiful. I am on the lookout for some patchy fog. In fact, our official weather station from the airport in Newport showing half a mile of visibility, and you can see around a third of a mile of visibility on the Cape and below a mile on the vineyard. But most of our area is looking pretty good visibility wise. There's still a chance of picking up some patchy fog right around sunrise and afterwards for a few hours before the sun punches through any fog that's remaining and really starts to warm things up. 59 is our temperature in Smithfield, 61 Providence, 60 in Newport. The winds are calm. Overall, a pretty calm day. So if you're out there in the sunshine and some of that humidity, we are not going to really see those winds to help ventilate the atmosphere. We have Lee in the Atlantic, but we're going to focus here on Maria. Now, Maria did weaken overnight from a Category 3 to a Category 2 storm, so some good news there. But still, a Category 2 storm is nothing to mess around with. Winds still 110 miles an hour. And the trend is very similar to the past couple of forecasts, where it basically brings it offshore from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Again, this cone of uncertainty means it could get a little closer to the North Carolina coast, a little further away. No matter where it goes, likely some very rough surf beach erosion here along the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Not expecting this to be a direct hit or a landfall, but it could get close and something we need to watch. But here's what we like to see. See that sharp turn out to sea. It does appear that a cold front will sweep Maria out to sea before affecting things here in southern New England. We'll still get the big waves and the surf potentially, but not concerned at this point about a direct hit. But obviously we don't completely write it off yet when it's in this position. But unlike Jose, which had that trend of maybe just kind of lingering offshore. This one looks like it's going to take Maria out a lot quicker than what happened with Jose. Futurecast today, 87 Providence, low 80s at the south coast, very warm at the Pats game, 86 degrees. Make sure you stay hydrated. And in our seven day Futurecast, you can see those temperatures getting cooler by the end of the week with that cold front. So Julianne, very warm weather out there today. And our record is 87, getting very close to that record. Hey, let's see if we'll beat another record. We beat a few this past summer. Yes, so we did. Should be interesting. Yep. Thank you, Pete. Covering New England now, a Vermont substitute.